glutes start out standing and just bring our focus onto the mat into our practice let the breath smooth out the feet are about hip width distance apart right now and just take a moment to check in with your feet you want to be on all four corners of your feet so take a moment to Make sure that you're standing nice and strong on the feet here. Really grounded. Great. Okay, we're just getting started. So, And let's take the breath onto the mat, smoothing it out. And now just a nice, simple deepening of the breath. So exhaling, belly button to spine, pulling up from your pelvis just exhale let everything release and then as you inhale let the whole body start to fill up uh, just fill with nice fresh oxygen bringing energy into the body exhale soften inhale bring it in exhale release and one more time, inhale, bring it in. And exhale, release. Great, let's start to add some arms to this in combination with our cats and cows. And also a lot of shoulder opening is going to happen here. So with soft knees and hips, bring your hands to your thighs. Exhale, round slightly forward. And then as you inhale, draw your arms big up and back. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, hands to the thighs. And let's keep going here. Inhale, open up. Exhale, hands to the thighs. And just keep going. Think about opening up. Notice what your shoulders are doing here. We really want to get them nice and open for the week. The heart is opening. The breath is moving. And then the next time your hands are on your thighs, just stay right here. Roll up and draw your shoulders back and down. Come back to equal standing here. Inhale and exhale. So we just move the spine forward and back. Now we're going to combine movements to take it side to side and in a twisting motion. So take your legs wider than hip width distance with the toes facing out and let the mo knees move naturally here. Okay, so we're going to reach up and over to the right. So the left arm is reaching up and then as the left arm comes down, twist to the left. Even let your right heel come up and take it back to center, reach up so your right knee can bend here, right? Let that hip move, so that's a great hip movement is bending and straightening that right knee and then also as we twist and the right heel lifts. Okay, is this making sense? We're twisting to the right, I mean tilting to the right and then twisting open to the left. Tilt to the right and twist open to the left. Now we're going to, instead of reaching overhead, just press to the side, feel that nice length. So just straight shoulder height. And again, twist open. And one more time, shoulder height, and then twist open. And now we're gonna to reach toward the earth here, down and twist, and just one more time there, down, and twist. So now that rib cage on the left is really open. Let's do the same thing on the right. So the right arm comes up and we tilt over to the left. And as you come back, twist to the right. That left heel is coming up, tilting over and back. We did this several times. So we're going to do it the same way on this side. Tilt and twist and just a nice natural movement here letting the left knee bend and straighten 
We'll go one more time, reaching overhead and twist. Now we're gonna take that right arm just out at shoulder height and now twist. Shoulder height and twist. Now we're going to reach toward the earth with the right arm, bring it up and twist. And one more time toward the earth, bring it up and twist, Woo! and come back to center. All right, before we take the feet back together again, we were working on the hips here. Let's just go down and up a few times and just let those hips really start to feel good this morning. Inhale and exhale, take your feet together and shake it out, okay? All right, so now we're going to come to the back of the mat and do a releasing breath from our warrior one. So you're at the back of your mat, your feet are hip width distance apart. We're gonna step forward with the right foot, big step forward, left heel turns in at an angle, make sure your right knee is over your right ankle. We're moving into warrior one, so step, uh, turn your self so that you're facing over your right leg and then extend your spine long 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 forward arms are long keeping that length in the spine draw your arms overhead so in warrior one we want to be long through the spine we don't want to be down here sinking inhale now keep that integrity of the spine as you exhale arms back there's the releasing breath inhale the arms up and as you exhale back, you decide, am I going gentle here? Or am I really just whoosh, pushing the release back? Whoosh. And the next time you're back, just hold here. Okay, so we've done a releasing breath. Now we're going to spin up the left heel. Fix the gaze, and you can stay right here, or you might start to lift your left leg into airplane. It's a little early to be throwing in some balance, but it might work right now for you. Bring your back foot down, arms back up into warrior one, and then step back. Good, and release. That work okay for everybody? We're gonna do the same thing starting on the left. So we're taking a big step forward, warrior one, right heel spins down, the left knee is over the left ankle and we turn to face the left knee. Draw those arms long so there's lots of length in the spine and then keeping that length in the spine, arms overhead, inhale and move into your releasing breaths. Up and back. Going at your own pace here. You can release through the mouth or you can do a more gentle release. Whatever feels right to you right now. And the next time your arms are back, stay here. Spin up your right heel. Fix your gaze, it's about six feet diagonal ahead of you. And you can stay right here, or you can try airplane on this side. Bring that back foot down, arms back up to warrior one, and step back. All right, so we're going to do that one more time. And here's two options for you. We'll do the breath four times. After the fourth time, you might just float right up into airplane or you might stop. And then from your airplane here, you might just step right back. Or you can pause in between like we just did. Does that make sense? All right. So just a little fun for Monday morning. Think of it. Just a little fun, some options here. Ready? We're starting on the right. Right foot forward, left heel spins down, knee over ankle, preparing and setting up in warrior one. Inhale, exhale, four times back, one, two, three. And now this time either go straight into airplane or pause in between, set yourself up and lift your back leg. And either bring the back leg down and then step back, or just do it all at once. Totally up to you. All right. Let's go forward with the left foot. 
Go ahead. Just checking everybody out. Left knee is over the left ankle. Spine is long. Arms are up. Four breaths back. The fourth one turns into airplane. And then from your airplane, either put your foot down and step back, or just step back all at once. Whichever one you want to try. It doesn't even matter if it works right, right? It's just whichever one you want to try. All right, so now we're back at the back of the mat in mountain pose. And let's calm the breath down a little bit. A few inhales and exhales. And as you stand here, just See, has your energy started to move a little better? What's happening in your body? And we're going to take the arms up. Inhale, exhale, soft knees and hips. Let's take a little swan dive here and warm up the legs a little. And then come on up. So we're bending the knees and hips. Take a little swan dive. Soft knees and hips and come up. And this time we come down into swan dive and turn it into a rag doll. So go ahead and move around a little. Come back to center and bring your hands to your legs, tuck your chin and slowly roll up. Inhale and exhale. Now we're going to be bringing the hands to the mat. Inhale, the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the mat. Those knees and hips probably still bending here. Mine certainly do. Walk forward into a knee up or knee down plank. Yeah, get that core starting to work here. And then take yourself back and up into downward facing dog. We'll walk the dog a little bit here. Bend one knee and then the other. Remember, dogs can always be tables and can also be done at the wall. Come back to center, press one heel down and hold, press the other heel down and hold, press both heels down and hold, and then bring your knees down and sit off to the side. We're coming into seated mountain pose here. Inhale and exhale. So from here, we're just going to do a couple of little heart opening breaths, okay? So with the legs straight, sit up nice and tall, the feet are flexed, bring your hands to your heart, inhale the, uh, so your palms are touching, inhale the arms overhead, exhale, bring your hands behind you. Now some people like their fingers facing toward their hips, other people are happier with their fingers facing away, so find what works for you. And then arch your back, shine your heart up. So we're not dropping the head back, we're just shining the heart up. And then exhale, release. Nice opening for the front of the shoulders. Inhale, we'll do that again. Exhale the hands down and shine your heart up. And one more time, exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, and shine your heart up. Feel the uh, front of the shoulders opening. Exhale and release. Remember, and shake out the wrist for a second. So remember, we spend a lot of our day in this position. So remember how good that feels and try and consciously do that a few times during the day, right? Open the heart. You don't have to put your hands down. You might just Draw your elbows back like we do for cats and cows. All right, we're going to do a little reverse plank here. So bring your hands behind you for support. And then keeping the hips down right now, just shine the heart up. We're not dropping the head, remember, we're just shining the heart up. Woo, front of the shoulders really feels that opening and release. Option now to lift the hips. So if you're lifting your hips, your heels are going to dig into the mat. Inhale, shine your heart up and see if those hips come up. Okay, and release. Nice. All right, 
Shake it out. We'll do that one more time. Hips up or hips down, whichever one you feel like doing. Ready? Hands back and hips up or down. One is not better than the other. One is just more what you want to do right now. Release Woo! and shake it out. All right, let's wiggle those fingers a bit. Inhale and exhale. So we did a lot of shoulder opening in the front. We're just gonna release the back. Arms out to the side, right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to the right. And we're just gonna roll the shoulders forward and tuck the chin for a moment. Just a counter pose. Take it up, left hand to the right shoulder, right hand to the left. Roll the shoulders forward and tuck the chin. And bring it out and up and shake everything out here. Inhale and exhale. All right, so we did a lot of hip opening already and we're going to um, do a combination of hip and core. So it's gonna be water wheel with the shoulders lifted. You guys all know water wheel. So let's just review that one quick second here. Roll down, hands by your side, right knee in, point up, flex down. Bring your right knee in and hold. Now flex your right foot, it's out, we're reversing, up and down, and bring your right foot down. Left knee in, point up, flex down, left knee in, now flex out, point up, knee in, and release. All right, so that's an option, but for the core, we need to roll the shoulders and head up and draw the arms forward. Okay, let's check this out here. Right knee in, point up, flex down, right knee in, let's reverse it, out and up and in and release. Okay, try it on the left knee in, point up, flex down, knee in, reverse, flex out, point up, knee in and bring everything down. All right, take your feet up in the air for a second and wiggle your feet at me if you're okay with that version. If you're not, then, or at any time while we're working, bring your shoulders and head down for a rest. Remember to not tuck your chin. So put your fist right in between your chin and your chest right now. See how you can't draw your chin down because your fist is there? Keep that energy as we roll up and draw the arms to the side, okay? All right, here we go. Four times on the right. Knee in, point up, flex down. The slowness is what's going to really bring it in to the core. Flex down. <clears throat> Knee in, point up, flex down. One more. Knee in, point up, flex down. Take the knee in, bring your shoulders and head down for just a moment before we reverse. Shoulders and head up, arms out to the side, flex out, point up, knee in, three more, flex out, point up, knee in, make sure you're not tucking your chin, up and in, one more, it's out and up and in and release. Both feet to the mat, just let your knees open and close a little bit. All right. Roll your, I hope I haven't just ruined your favorite move, water wheel, by adding the um, increased core to it. Roll your shoulders and head up. There you go. And we're going to go on the left four times. Knee in, point up, flex down. Knee in, point up, flex down. And two more. All control here, no momentum. Now hold the knee in, take it down for a moment. Let your shoulders and head relax for just a moment. Roll back up, four reverse water wheels. Flex out, point up, 
knee in, three more, flex out, point up, knee in, out, and up, and in, one more, it's out, and up, and in, and release, Woo. inhale, and exhale. All right, so for our um, obliques, we're just going to do some uh, simple bicycles. Cross your hands over your chest. The chin is still not tucking, right? And we're going to raise the knees to tabletop, roll up, take your left shoulder towards your right knee and extend your left leg, come back center, roll up, right shoulder toward the left knee, extend the right leg, and down, take it up, and left shoulder, right knee, and down, right shoulder, left knee, and down. Everybody okay with this? Bring one foot down in between. If this is getting to be too much for you, we're just going side to side. Getting those obliques. We started left shoulder to right knee. Left hand, next time your left shoulder to right knee, stay there. Bring your left knee in and extend, and in and extend. Two more, and one more, and release. Woo. Taking it to the other side, roll up, right shoulder to left knee, stay here, right leg, out and in, out and and in, there you go, and in, one more, and in, release. Ah, wiggle your feet at me if your core is awake. That, was, that worked okay, all right. Bring your feet down, let your knees open and close gently. Little butterfly wings here, and we're going to come up to hands and knees. All right, so we are on all fours here with either the wrists under the shoulders or the hands more forward if we want less of an angle in the wrists here, okay? Now, walk your hands two steps forward. We're gonna be working with arm strength here. Walk your hands forward of your shoulders. Come into a knee down plank and then bending at the elbows and pressing up, push up, hips toward the heels. Take it forward. Maybe this time you do two push-ups or maybe you're sticking with one. We want to get those arms nice and strong and press the hips back toward the heels. And again, two or one. Control everything here. Doing two like short little fast push-ups there's no benefit to that. It would be better to do one nice deep one. And just one more time. Two or one and come into child's pose. All right, so at this point in the um, moon cycle, as re relates to our yoga practice, we want to accept what is and release what no longer serves us. So. Just take a couple of breaths into that idea for a moment. And then float your way into downward facing dog. Back in down dog now. Taking a nice couple of breaths here. Breathing in acceptance of what is and breathing out what no longer serves. And then walk your feet towards your hands. Take a nice little walk. When you get there, bring your hands to your thighs. Take a half lift, shine your heart forward, your hips are pressing back. Exhale, forward fold. And then float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. And release. 
Okay, so in our sun salutation, we're going to do the same thing, accept what is and release what no longer serves. Okay, so we're accepting in various points along the sun salutation. You might have your knees up or down. You might be um, <clears throat> more engaged or uh, a little softer. Okay, so let's work on that here. Okay, bring the feet hip width distance apart. Inhale and exhale. Float the arms up, inhale. We're keeping the legs straight, straight and we're accepting where the hands land with straight legs. Where do they land? On your legs, anywhere on your legs. Maybe touching the mat, doesn't matter. Bring your hands to your thighs, hips back, shine your heart forward, take your half lift. Bring your hands down, step back into that lunge. Let's stay here for just a moment. We step back with the right knee over ankle on the left here, okay? And so we're going to wiggle around just let that hip move around a little bit. And then coming into plank, accepting that this might be time for a knee up plank, or it might be a better time for a knee down plank. Just what is right now. And chaturanga down. Using those arms again. All right, so the hands wind up under the shoulders as we lift into a gentle cobra, shine the heart forward, and just release the hands. Hands free, release it down, and find your way to downward facing dog. Okay, so you might go table to dog, you might do a press up. Inhale and exhale. Hmm. Think about the backs of the legs in this down dog and press your heels closer to the mat. Take your right leg up and just accept what is as you step forward and find the way back to the top of your mat, taking a half lift, forward fold, and now we're gonna float the arms out and up as the palms touch and hands come heart center. Bring your hands back down by your side. Very basic sun salutation. So let's go on the left. Feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale up. There you go. Exhale, fold. Accept that you know what's going on. Just go inside here. Half lift. Forward fold. This time as the left leg goes back, the right knee stays over the ankle. And we just let those hips move around. And then find your way into your plank. Knees up or down. Plank, plank, plank. Good. And then chaturanga. We want the spine to stay nice and strong here. So if the knees are better coming down for spinal integrity, then we do that. Okay. So let's lift the hands now and then move into our cobra. So without any hands, shoulders toward the ears, down the spine, heart shines forward and release. <clears throat> Doing that again, lifting. Now let's take the arms by the ears in this cobra. We're still lifted. Bring your elbows back, lift. Maybe it comes a little higher and release. And then find your way to downward facing dog. There you go. All right. Making sure we have four points of balance in the down dog. Take the left leg up, hip height. Take a step forward with the left foot. Wherever it goes, it goes. And then complete your journey. Feet to the hands. Half lift. Forward fold, and let's float the arms out and up, palms touch, <clears throat> and hands come heart center, and release. All right, shake it out. Are the sun salutations feeling okay this morning? Everybody good? Okay, good, because <coughs> we'll go ahead and do a little chair review now, <clears throat> and then 
we're going to do the Sun B. We worked on Warrior 1, so let's work on our chair because they both show up in the next version of Sun Salutation. So for chair, the feet are hip width distance, the hips are back, the <clears throat> pelvis tucks under, arms come up by your shoulders, sit a little deeper, and bring your arms up by your ears without dragging your shoulders towards your ears. Okay, so release the shoulders down the back a little bit. Here you are in chair. Inhale, reach up, reach up. And then as you exhale, bend the knees and hips. Your fingertips graze the mat as you take yourself back into chair. So we're just warming up that chair. And let's do that one more time. Inhale up. Exhale, bring it down. Fingertips graze the mat, chair. Who great leg strengthener here. Can everybody wiggle their toes? Remember in chair, your weight is behind you and your toes are free. Inhale and shake it out. Who? All right. So we are ready when we get there for the sun B. We're not going to go there right away. We're going to do some uh, a little bit of softer moves here and some balancing. So let's work on the balancing here. The feet are hip with distance. Inhale and exhale. So our balance is going to be sun and moon. So if you know sun and moon, well, let's just start out by planting the feet, fixing the gaze, calming the mind. All right, hands to the hips. Take your right heel up and then see if that right knee is Good to go for lifting. Great, and place the right foot back down. All right, now we're gonna go on the left. Left heel up, left knee. Just seeing how balance feels this morning and release. All right, now as I started to say earlier, if you know sun and moon, you can go right for it, right knee, left arm. Otherwise, come with me in steps. So we're going right heel, right knee, left arm. You can also keep your right foot kickstanded if it's not a great balance uh, time for you right this moment, and release. Balance is the perfect place to practice accepting what is, right? The more you struggle, the more it's going to uh, evade you, elude you. Okay, left heel up, left knee, right arm. Remember, feel free to just go into it if you know it. Sun and moon. Feel free to back off if it's not great balance time for you right now. And release. All right. We're going to go into sun and moon again, either float right into it, right knee, left arm, or right knee, set yourself up, left arm, and release, left knee, right arm, great, and release. And just let's take a few moments here to inhale and exhale. Close your eyes. Feel those feet again. Remember at the very beginning of our practice, we were thinking about the four corners of the feet. Make sure that you're still standing on all four corners of your feet. Inhale and exhale. All right, so we're gonna take the legs wide now with the toes turned out, okay? So we just did sun and moon balance. We're going to do moon flower, sunflower. So five pointed star, and then knees over toes, elbows to waist, and up, nice. And let's go again, moon flower, five pointed star, moon flower, five pointed star. One more time, moon flower, Five-pointed star. Now for the sunflower, we're folding forward. And remember, your folds can always be as much or as little as you want. Exhale, knees over toes, right arm crosses in front of left and up. Left arm crosses in front of right and up. You could be going all the way down. We're just switching right and left for the shoulders here. 
Down and up, just a nice little sunflower. Down and up. We started with the right arm in front, so the next time the left arm is in front, we'll be about even. And then release. All right, and let's bring the feet back to hip width distance apart. Shake out the legs. How are you guys feeling? Are you feeling one more sun salutation? The sun bee? Remember, the sun bee just keeps moving, okay? And at any point, if you need a break, you take one. We are hip width distance apart. Feet at the top of the mat, hip width distance apart. Sun B starts in chair. So set your hips back, tuck under, arms overhead. Here's our old friend chair. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, swan dive, straight legs. Remember, we're just accepting where the hands are going. Finding a half lift here, hands to the thighs. Hands down, we step back, right leg, left leg, to a plank. Knees up or down, chaturanga. Now in this chaturanga, you can, have, you can do up dog if you have that, or just do a deeper cobra by taking your hands toward your ribs, shoulders toward the ears, down the spine, and use your hands this time to lift a little higher. Try not to sink into the back but just lift a little higher. And then find your way to downward facing dog. We take the right leg up, step it forward, spin the left heel down, and come into warrior one. Here's the warrior one in our sun B. Exhale, bring the hands down. Come back to plank, chaturanga. I tend, you can use your knees a lot here if you want and come into a nice deep cobra or up dog if you have up dog. And then find your way to downward facing dog. Remember, this just keeps moving. Take a break whenever you feel like you want one. Left leg up. Left foot steps forward, right heel comes down as we find our way to warrior one. That's it. Hands down. Plank again. One more chaturanga. This is the last round. Lifting into cobra or up dog. And from here, this is not traditional, but we're going to do it. Make a pillow with your hands, place your forehead on your hands, bend your knees, and let your legs move side to side. Just to clear that spine a little bit, we've done a lot of back bending today. Bring the feet down. Find your way into downward facing dog for three breaths. You can do releasing through the mouth or through the nose. And then we just take our journey, feet to the hands. Yes, bringing the hands to the thighs, half lift, forward fold. And we started in chair, we end in chair. Return to chair. Stand tall, hands by your side, mountain pose. Okay, so that was the sun B. A lot of work in that. Inhale and exhale. All right, let's come to the top of the mat now. And we're coming down. So if you need anything to be warm, grab it. Okay, just float your arms up. Inhale, exhale, swan dive and find your way to downward facing dog. We're gonna let the hips move. We could also be in table here. Sit off to the side and find seated mountain pose. 
All right, you guys have worked super hard, so let's shake everything out. Do a couple of soft forward folds. Arms up and gently fold forward. Roll up and gently fold forward. Come back to seated, bring the feet to the mat, knees are bent, slowly roll down, draw the legs long and arms long, inhale, exhale, draw your knees in, give yourself a hug, and then come into happy baby. So we're in happy baby here, the feet are flexed, you might hold on to your feet, you might hold on to your um, hamstrings here, whatever's more accessible, what feels best right now, and then rock side to side, a little spinal release here, side to side. Bring your hands down by your side, and with the feet still up, let's point and flex the feet, circle the ankles one direction and the other. Nice, bring the feet down. Inhale and exhale. We're going to open and close the fingers here. Wiggle and rotate the wrists one direction and the other. Bringing the hands down and just let the head gently move from side to side. Seeing if there's any spots in the neck that just need to release now. And as you bring your head back to center, scan your body, make yourself super comfortable, knees bent, legs straight, move anything that's wanting to move, readjust, realign. We're looking for our final relaxation position here, taking a moment to make sure everything is nice and happy. You have worked hard. Your work is done. Now it's time for our final relaxation. Inhale through the nose. And slowly exhale through the mouth. Allowing your body to just rest on the earth. Inhale through the nose. And as you slowly and gently exhale, release yourself onto the earth and just be for a few moments of relaxation here. Begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Allow your breath to deepen. Gently invite movement back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. And on your next inhale, stretch long. Exhaling. Draw your knees in, give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side. 
And as you come back up to a nice easy seat, draw your palms together and turning your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit. Truly thank and honor yourself for your practice, and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.